What is up, crypto fam? Welcome back to another episode. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Steve. I am the host of Hacktroid Crypto. And at the beginning of every single episode, we do a small giveaway to a commenter in the comment section below. So today's winner is actually Luke Coop. Congratulations, Luke. Thank you for commenting on the previous video. If you guys are new, comment about the content of the video with your different wallet address, whether that's Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, whatever it may be, in the comment section below for your chance to win. Diving into this week's video, as you can see from the title, the number one question I get out of every DM that I get, about 100 every week from people on Instagram, is what are blockchains? and what are different cryptocurrencies? Just the basic question. So before I dive into a two minute overview of what that is, I teamed up with Cointelegraph, I'm putting the link to their channel in the description below so you guys get a chance to subscribe for their weekly HODLers Digest. It is a very, very cool kind of wrap up of the week. I watch it every single Sunday. It goes through everything from the entire week to give you a rundown of what's going on in the space. And whether it's FUD coming from China or it's just various different types of news and announcements coming about Bitcoin ETFs. And after that, I'm going to run through a two minute overview of what a blockchain is and how a cryptocurrency fits on top of it. A survey carried out by Coinbase shows that 18% of US students' respondents either are currently hodling or used to. That's two times more than the average American surveyed. 17% of students surveyed said they were crypto literate, while only 9% of the general population said they knew anything about crypto or blockchain. This survey is particularly hopeful, as it shows that while the older generation may believe the FUD, the younger one will be the Bitcoin believers. The bad news, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong said recently that mass adoption would also take some time. Also, this guy. This week, Yahoo Finance supports crypto, the wolf of FUD Street, Joseph Lubin doubts tether price manipulation, and North Korea is getting into blockchain. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your weekly HODLers Digest. We're filming here in San Francisco, right next to the Palace of the Fine Arts. Wahoo! Yahoo Finance users and HODLers have a reason to celebrate, but might be advised not to use their email account. You can now buy and sell crypto on Yahoo Finance, only on the iOS app for now. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin are now integrated on its platform. And statistics are available for other cryptos, like Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum Classic, and EOS, but they currently do not have buy and sell options. This development has been welcomed enthusiastically. In April this year, Yahoo Japan confirmed plans to buy 40% of Bit ARG Exchange Tokyo and send executives to set up the exchange, set to launch in 2019. But be careful out there, guys. It was recently reported that Yahoo has been scanning people's emails for data to sell to advertisers. But if you still have a Yahoo Mail account in 2018, surely it's Yoohoo that is to blame, no? Is 18% of all students in the United States say that they are invested in cryptocurrencies. That is actually mind blowing. Hope you guys enjoyed that snippet from the weekly HODLer Digest from Cointelegraph. I love that. Every week I watch it on Sundays. So what I wanna do now is run through what is a blockchain and what is a cryptocurrency. Blockchain actually started in 2009. There is a concept called the Byzantine Generalist Problem where humans can anonymously transact and establish trust using a computer. This was never accomplished before blockchain, which is the breakthrough where you do not have to rely on a centralized authority, whether that's a government or a bank, to transact anonymously online because you have a blockchain that establishes trust through a consensus. When a blockchain exists, it is inseparable from a cryptocurrency that is on top of that blockchain. So the blockchain is the ledger that is keeping track of the resources and the cryptocurrency on top is the accounting. When people have resources involved in a network, there needs to be some method of accounting. So by default, there is a cryptocurrency on top of a blockchain. Currently, what everyone is witnessing is a financial revolution that is sitting on top of blockchains. That is with things like Bitcoin and different cryptocurrencies where people can enter into a network. When you have 
humans that are able to transact anonymously online and establish trust without a centralized authority, you are disrupting file storage with Filecoin, you're disrupting identity with Civic, you're disrupting store of value with Bitcoin, you're disrupting contracts with Ethereum, new networks that allow people to operate in a decentralized way. So there's not one authority that is running the network. To replay everything back, blockchain started in 2009. They solved a problem that was a Byzantine problem where humans are able to transact anonymously online and establish trust through blockchains in a decentralized way. Cryptocurrencies by default are the accounting that take place on top of a blockchain, and blockchain is the ledger that is keeping track of who is providing resources to that network. If blockchain does apply to every industry in the world and decentralizes all of the centralized authorities that are running these industries, what happens next? Uh, what do you think in the comment section below will happen uh, when different organizations implement blockchain in the most effective way for them? Will that disrupt how business operates today? Will a cryptocurrency on top allow transparency for the rest of the world to view the accounting of all these businesses? How is it going to affect industries like logistics, supply chain, healthcare, insurance? How is it going to affect this? Leave a comment below. If you guys like this video, slap a like, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Hacktroid Crypto.